guys what is going on welcome back to another video and in this video we bring you something different I know we normally go out in the BMWs and the Audis but for me and obviously from me going down the direction of doing my race license and tracking a car I thought there was no better car that I know of other than obviously Tony's lovely Renault Megane so I have been out in this on track at Bedford so I did go for a quick lap I think I even mentioned it and from the M140 it was night and day and I know the M140 might have been faster but handling wise this cannot be beaten cannot be beaten so yeah we're gonna go out for a drive and obviously Tony's gonna give us a bit more information on this car so first question for you Tony mate previous cars before this what did you have before this I had a 2010 Focus RS okay and in comparison to this how did that feel uh, I prefer this to hand better. Okay, all right, and that was what four wheel drive I want to say was it? Front wheel drive. Front wheel drive, okay, yeah. yeah. And it just what night and day, or just what, what, why do you prefer this? I just prefer to pick up Mr. Handing better. Yeah. Uh, the focus also was bright green. I know this is not exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. But, uh, it does, it does, and there's a lot of induction sound as well. It's got an induction kit, I believe, on it as well, right? It has, yeah. Yeah, it sounds really, really good. Before the RS, which, what did you have before that? I'm really sad, I don't want to say. <laughs> there's a Saab 93 Vigan. Ah, yes, it was the you, Vigan. Gotta, you gotta have a Saab, in it. You gotta tick that box. It was the Vigan. You gotta tick the box. When you had the RS, why did you decide to go for this? Well, I wanted to keep it similar hot hatch, if you like. Yeah, But yep. I wanted something a bit cheaper. Okay, like, so, so this this to run is, is, is a lot cheaper than the RS, yeah? It's a lot cheaper to run, yeah, it's cheaper to buy. Cheaper okay. To, so I can spend more money doing it up. And yeah, definitely. Keeping that RS. 100%, 100%. And guys, I'm gonna leave in the description everything that has been done on the car. I think when I was talking to T Tony earlier in the week, he was like, mate, if we're gonna talk about what has been done to the car, we're gonna it's gonna be a 30 minute video. So make sure you check the description if you are interested in kitting up your car to this level, because I can guarantee you it will handle like a dream. So how long have you owned this for anyway? Uh, two years. Two years, and in that two years, have you ever had like any thoughts of like getting rid of it or anything like that? Anything oh, particular no, you fancy? No. Nothing. No, I like it. So this is this is probably going to be a long term for you. Uh, yeah, until the next one. <laughs> yeah, that's always the case, isn't it? So going on these roads, I know we're not exactly doing a ton or whatever, but it feels quite comfortable. Like, how do you feel like it compared to the RS, for example? The, yeah, the, the suspension setup on this is way better. It's, it's smooth, yeah. It is smooth. Really good. It does look lower, but it's not. It's actually the same wide as the standard R26. But okay. I, it just feels like some rounds, you know, the yeah, focus. Yeah, yeah, Even definitely. though it was an RS, it still was a little bit boaty. Sketchy, yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. I can imagine. Wow. It just feels so flat. It's just so flat, man. Mate, suspension is such a massive thing on cars. Oh, the pickup. <laughs> yes, this is what I love. I love that manual feeling. Oh, mate, it's so sharp. It shows up, and it's two litre turbo, right? Two litre. It feels like there's no lag. It's quite, it's just sharp. And it's, yeah. it's been mapped as well, I believe, as well. Yeah, I it's think. been mapped, yeah. RS tuning, right? That's it. Yeah, no, it definitely feels sharp. See, the lag on the Focus was... Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. And it's 2 litre on the Focus as well, right? 2.5. Uh, okay, 2.5. 5.4? 5.4. Yeah, yeah, okay. Day to day, in terms of it being like a practical car, how practical is it? Yeah, what do you think? You still got the kids in the back? This is what I was going to say. What I said to you earlier. I said, um, as you see, the golf clubs are in the boot. Yeah, exactly. You still got decent boot. Still got decent boot. I think what really done it for me is that these seats are very comfortable. They're, they're quite hugging, so I would class them as bucket seats, yeah, right? They are, but they yeah. still recline. And this is something that you don't see a lot of. And I, I was quite keen, so I want to get them on mine eventually, but I don't want to lose the ability to still have the practicality of the rear seats. So I know there's been a lot done on this car between obviously yourself and obviously Nath. So again, big shout out for Nath for sorting this out for me. Um, Fusion modifications. What else do you think this car needs? Uh, it needs a shock absorber on the back. Oh really? <laughs> Probably hear it knocking away. <laughs> so this isn't the best that it could handle. It could probably handle uh, even better, yeah, really. Yeah, I think wow. so. Yeah. Oh yeah, um, I just heard a little knock there. <laughs> and, uh, I think the radiator needs a bigger radio in there because it oh, just gets some rad yeah, seal little, in there, mate. <laughs> it, it, it's not leaking. It just gets a little bit warm on track. Oh okay, fair uh, enough. So a bigger one, maybe. You need a bigger radiator. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. So now let's get to the nitty gritty. So what's the best thing you love about this car? If you were just going to one thing what would it be one thing 
and the colour. The colour, yeah, it does. For me, even when I pulled up earlier to yours, I was like, wow, it's definitely like you definitely turn your head. What's the only thing you change about this car? Your worst feature of this car? Uh, reliability. Okay, it's not that reliable, is it? No, every time it goes out of the track, something breaks. <laughs> Is that an indirect? Is that an indirect or someone, maybe? <laughs> every every single time, every time it's gone out on a track, something's broke. Oh, God. Okay, but day to day, it, it's fine normally. Yeah, day to day. I've, you know, look, Nave's the one that tracks it, not me. I'm not going to say, I'm not broken it. Nave, I take it out, I'm not broken it. That's anything. it. Nave, stop breaking the car, please, mate. Yeah, do as a favor you are. Stop going from fifth to first gear on track. <laughs> I know it sounds great, mate, but it's not good for the car. And then to move on from this, I know you said it's perfect, but if you had to go for something like similar, something that would do what this doesn't tick your boxes, what would it be from this? Uh, there's only one, Yaris GR. Yaris GR, okay. 100%. All right, have you been out in one yet? No. You're just going off the reviews and going feedback it's got? Yeah. yeah, okay. And that's four wheel drive though? Four wheel drive, yeah. You think that, that still could give you the same sort of feeling? I think it could be better. <laughs> Fair enough. So guys, make sure you stay tuned for that video. Try and get this video to 100 likes. And obviously we're going to get Tony to buy a Yaris GR and then we'll get it on the channel. First is there, reverse. Okay, I'm going Yeah, reverse, you have to lift. Okay, cool. Lift and over and down. But if you need to do that, we're in trouble. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're going to be in, in a hedge somewhere. Oh, the sounds are non-stop. <laughs> <laughs> this is, oh mate, why does this always happen? I feel I've got way more confidence in this than in my own car. Oh mate. Oh man, the setup that is in this, the setup in this is, is something else, man. <laughs> How does it feel, Tony? <laughs> Yeah? <laughs> you don't, don't feel worried or anything? No, not at all. Oh, wicked. <laughs> well, whenever not, you need not, to pop back to the shop, just give me a call, mate. I'm, I'm only 15 I'm minutes away. for dear life at all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do like this, man. It's just, for me, it's just the in, how quick it picks up. It's That's crazy. Saying, yeah. It's instant. Like, I could be in, this is a second gear, and we're just in the mid-range here, foot down. It just feels so aggressive. <laughs> oh, mate. <laughs> yeah, it feels good, man. It feels good. Yeah, mate, this is this thing's set up so well. I can see why Nathan likes this on the track. <laughs> I can see why. Oh, mate. Wow. Yeah, this is planted. And the seats as well, it doesn't make, you're not sliding around or anything, so you always feel right, connected. Comfortable as well, don't yeah, you? really, really comfortable. The Focus RS was talking about, they were like, they're too hard. Yeah, the this is the hard. thing, it's always, it's always like you always have to give up something when you get bucket seats, but with this, you feel like we've got, we've got it right here. Yeah, it's a good thing you came out with me. <laughs> I wouldn't have come back on time. <laughs> Wow, mate, this is amazing. Tony, mate, big, big thanks for that, man. Big like. thanks for that. So, guys, as usual, we're probably going to go out for a bit of longer home, but obviously we'll try and keep the videos below 15 minutes if possible. But as always, guys, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. God bless.